Hey guys, it's Ryan Destiny, and I just got done washing my face with the Black Opal Blemish Control Bar. So I'm about to take you guys into my everyday makeup routine with Black Opal. So to start out, this is the serum by Black Opal. It's brightening and plumping skin serum, and it just helps, you know, plump up my skin and still making it vibrant, not making it too oily but still making it moisturized. We got the primer. You need this because your girl is oily. And I have literally used black opal foundation since like, I think I first started doing my own makeup at like 16. So this is super cool. Cause we are back. And I love their stick foundations. I think they were like the only ones that could match my color at that time because it was just a huge variety. Okay, this foundation stick, beautiful bronze. I have such a weird skin tone, just trying to find them before. It was like a very ashy undertone, I think, and it just would be, I don't know, very pale. Like I said, I need something that sort of seeps into my skin too, and just, you know, it's a team effort. I need them to work as a team. I'm going to go into a concealer. Usually for my everyday makeup, I like doing something that's not too, too light. I just want it to look more natural, but still, you know, a little something. That's why I love Black Opal. I also like using this concealer to shape my brows. I really love liquid foundations because of how like subtle, I don't know, it just looks like skin. You see that? It just looks like skin. To contour, I'm gonna be using the stick foundation in suede mocha. Ooh, that's pretty. So this is Black Opal Soft velvet finishing powder and this is medium I like when powders have a warm like tint to it because it's the worst when you're about to take like a picture or something and the flash goes on and then it's just like you see all that white underneath the eye we don't want that I'm not the best at eyeshadow but I'm I'm great at doing the same thing over and over again so we're gonna do that so the palette that i'm going to use today is the true melanin palette definitely messed this up a lot but we can fix this and that's why we do bronze i'm gonna use the smoking topaz it really makes it so i stay shine free all day so this lipstick that i'm gonna use as blush is primrose and proper Next, I'm gonna use the illuminating stick. That is so pretty. I think this is like a favorite. Creamy things, like a creamy highlighter, a creamy blush, is always gonna look the most subtle and natural. It just like hits at the right spot. I like blink into my mascara. So I take it and I'm just blinking to apply it instead of like brushing up like that. I can't do that. I have to blink and do it. Now I'm going to move on to lips. I personally like to put on my lip liner first. So I'm going to use the satin lipstick. I love satin lipstick. I know a lot of people ask me about a signature lip. It's really just any type of like nude, with a little bit of a warm tint to it. And as long as you blend it with your liner, you got it, it's done. So now I'm gonna add some lip gloss. Oh wow, that really just did something. I mean, it's cute on camera, but it's also really cute in person. This is cute. I haven't done my makeup this cute in a bit, so this feels great. And now I'm done. 